Hey friends, what's up, everybody? Nick Game here. Welcome to the Ropa DLC review for Farming Simulator 17. So this is the, obviously the newest DLC uh, for Farming Simulator, and a lot of people weren't so sure about it, but I was definitely excited for for it from the beginning. Um, mainly because it's not an expensive DLC. You get some pretty decent equipment, and as a side note. Ropa is actually in America more than uh, Grimmy or, or actually Grimma or um, Homer. So it's definitely a little more American than the others. These are still the European versions, obviously. I'm also excited for this potato harvester that's in this pack. So uh, let's hop into it. So right off the bat, we see all the machinery right here. We'll go ahead and take a look in the store uh, for them real quick. So the first piece of equipment is going to be under the potato harvesting. We have the Ropa Keeler 2, which is the potato harvester. Has a capacity of 10,000 liters. Obviously harvest potatoes, harvest speed of 6 miles an hour, and it's working with a 2 meters, or basically 2 rows. Upkeep is $200 a day. Required horsepower, $150. And uh, it's $120,000 compared to the Grima uh, 260 is $112,190 a day, 110 horsepower required, 9,276 capacity, and same width and same working speed. Now, you may realize that there's no Ropa topper, like there's this uh, Grimma topper. That is because this potato harvester does the topping and harvesting all in one machine. So that is the advantage the Ropa has over the Grimma in-game. In so you can do two jobs with just one machine, which is going to save you money in, well, let's see, 12,000 plus 9,000 is 21,000. $121,000 for the, both of these. So you're saving money right off the bat. You're saving $1,000 by just buying this. $200 a day maintenance fee. You have 190. So the same maintenance fee, but just one machine, which is really good. And it's obviously going to boost your productivity. So next up we have, the, in the beet harvesting we have, let's start with this one, the Ropa Tiger 6XL. This machine is $499,000, so basically half a million dollars. Price, uh, maintenance fee of $1,700 a day. Horsepower of 768. Uh, road speed is 24 miles an hour. Capacity of 43,000 liters. And uh, obviously it gives with the RRXL9X45 head, which is $79,000 uh, to buy, $80 a day to maintain, 4 meter working with, 7 mile an hour uh, harvesting speed, and obviously gives with this. Next up we have the Ropa Mouse 5 for $369,000, $1,580 a day to maintain, 354 horsepower, 24 mile an hour road speed, and a width of a working width of 10.2 meters. So let's do a little comparison. So this Ropa can be compared to the in-game Homer. So right off the bat, it's just a little more expensive. It's actually a cheaper maintenance per day, and the capacity is the capacity is actually lower. So harvest speed on the heads is 7 miles an hour. Is that comparable? It is. So not much of a big difference there. It is cheaper uh, per day to own the Ropa, which is pretty cool. For Mouse 5, it is compared to the Homer Terra Feliz 2 Eco. So right off the bat, it's more expensive. Uh, let's see, $15.80 a day, $14.90 a day. Uh, 9.5 meter working with this has a 10.2. Uh, other than that, it's pretty matched. The next piece of equipment up on the list is the uh, Ropa Nawa now Row Mouse. So it's basically like the one we just re uh, reviewed, but that one is just for lifting uh, sugar beet piles and putting them into trucks. This one is for lifting. <laughs> pretty much every other crop and putting them into trucks. So it's pretty cool. Can't really compare it to anything else. And you can see all the stats here. No, nothing really important that we have to uh, look at is a 8 meter working with. 
1260 a day to maintain 354 horsepower and 3,028 no, 328,000 to buy. Uh, we do have a header cart in here for the rope ahead. Pretty cool. So let's get a up close. Oops, I'm using the wrong keyboard. Let's get a uh, up close to look at all of this. This is this is a very nice uh, machine here. Very detailed, actually. Can we crash and go under? No, that's as far as we can go. But look at that. That is very well detailed. I do like the looks of this. Walking around, and you see the topping me mechanism right there. Lifting conveyor belts. Very nice. Can't wait to see how this looks in the field. I will definitely be using this on the Green Farming Series, so if you want to see more of this in action, you will be able to see that there. So let's hop into, well, let's walk around the Tiger first. Pretty cool. Very detailed. Very clean textures, too. I mean, look look at the grates, actually. That is very well detailed. Very crisp and clean textures. Very nice. Here's the head. Definitely a lot of detail. I mean, look, you even have the hoses here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next up, we have the Mouse 5. The uh, Beat Pile Lifter. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Got your fuel tank there. Very nice machine. Once again, lots of detail. The, the Narrow Mouse 5. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Big old drum right here for uh, convey more or faster conveying speed into the actual machine. And then that very similar to the uh, the Mouse 5. The header cart? Oh, it's the header cart. Actually, it's a very detailed uh, header cart as well. Lots of safety back here. You even got your tire chuck right there. Very nice. You got your rope advertisement right there. Very beautiful header cart, actually. All right, so let's get these into a field and let's compare them to the Homer stuff. All right, so here's all the equipment lined up, all nice and unfolded for now. Off the bat, you can obviously obviously see there's more equipment on the rope side, but that's not the important thing. We're just looking at the main differences. The reason I'm doing kind of a comparison here is because because a lot of people thought this was just going to be like a reskin of the Homer. But right off the bat, you can tell that's not the case at all. Especially with the cab, it's different. If you move back here, you got a different t uh, tank design. Very nice. So if we go on this side, getting hung up on the trailer. I did forget to bring the Homer trailer over here, but it's all good. So it looks like there's it's even a wider conveyor belt to offload it. So obviously, definitely not a reskin by any means. You look at the uh, Mouse Five, which is comparable to the Terry's. Let's just do a quick walk by by this. All right, and then the same over here for the Mouse. So yeah, completely different models, guys. Not every skin in the least. Alright, so let's go ahead and get all these unfolded and let's take a look at some uh, main differences. Alright, so let's look at the uh, conveyor or the, the beat power lifting machines first. Right off the bat, you can already tell one of the advantages, advantage, advantages that the uh, Ropa has, and that is, oops, wrong keyboard, that is the elevated cab. So when you unfold it, the cab raises up like that. Where on the Homer, the cab just stays right where it is. So this gives you more visibility in the, over uh, the power that you're doing. You can also see that the counterweight is in a complete different uh, position th than on the Homer. And it seems like, I can't tell for sure, but it seems like the uh, 
the final conveyor belt, the one that actually loads the truck, is a little longer. Though that would make sense because this has about a 0.7 meter uh, advantage over the Homer. So looking at the uh, the belts or the augers, I guess these are rollers more like more than augers or belts. Uh, they are kind of similar. There are subtle differences. Uh, I'll let you guys pick those out for yourselves because I'm not going to do it. Looking up here, looks like we got some brushes on the conveyor belt. Does the Homer have that? I don't think so. No, the Homer does not have any sort of cleaning brushes on it at all. So obviously, Robo definitely has more advantages over that. Obviously that doesn't matter in the game, but that's pretty cool to see. So you got some brushes here and not here. Also, I'm actually noticing that the only conveyor belt part of this machine is right in here and right in here. All the rest is rollers, which also help in the cleaning process. Well, I suppose to here it's all conveyor belts. And it doesn't look like there's any real cleaning process in here. Unless it's really in there. Which I can't really see. So pretty interesting uh, differences of details there. So let's move on to the uh, harvester. Actually, before we move on to the harvester, let's go ahead and look at the... Uh, what is it? The Nar Naro Mouse 5. So as you can see, this is more suited for m more of your heavier material, your uh, really just your other material. You have two gigantic aug augers on each side and you have a big old drum auger that feeds into another conveyor belt in the back. Now this one is kind of similar to the Homer where it's just all belts, no real cleaning mechanism because well, this you would mainly be using this for like your grain or silage, um, your wood chips even. Uh, on Robo's site, th they describe this as the biomass pile mover. Uh, biomass being like silage and wood chips. Uh, I've seen videos of uh, farmers using these these to move their chaff from the field. You know, they'll be doing their corn silage harvest, and instead of taking it straight to the pit, they dump it on the side. You know, just with the tractors, tractors and trailers. Then the uh, Narrow Mouse 5 loads the chaff onto trucks that then take it to the farm, which is pretty interesting. I've also seen um, the, them do it with the grass silage or haylage as well. And uh, it's pretty interesting. Look it up on YouTube. It's pretty. It's a pretty good watch to see these guys in action. All right, now let's move on to the harvesters. Okay, so starting off with the pool type harvesters. Again, one of the advantages the Ropa has is the Ropa tops the potatoes where opposed to the Grima, it does not. It just harvests it. You have to top them beforehand with another machine. Some key differences is this Ropa actually has a little... Actually, it looks like a cleaning cleaning chute to possibly catch any rocks that got lifted up and weren't cleaned out and separated it in the whole process. So that's actually a really cool detail. I really like that actually. Where opposed to the Grima, it's just a straight conveyor belt. Now I wonder if we hop in, can we change the pitch? Uh, yep, we can change the pitch of it too. Very nice. That is something you can do with the Grima, so I was interested to see if you could do that with that. Pretty cool. So let's talk, take a little slow walk around here. Let's look at some of the details. There's a Really nice cleaning mechanism right there. Very nice. So you have several, like right in this area, looks like it would be some sort of a, a sorter for the sizes of potatoes. Very nice. Moving on over to here. So there is actually the cleaning slash kind of a sorting mechanism looking thing as well on this different different setup obviously that looks like the only kind of cleaning area right for it though so the Ropa has a 10,000 liter capacity and this has a 9,726 liter capacity if I remember correctly very nice 
So I believe, if I, if I remember correctly, when you're unloading the Grimma, you, ha it, you can't unload on the Gilra or anything. So I'd be interested to see if you can do it with the Ropa. Although looking at it, it's similar to the Grimma, how this conveyor belt kind of shoots upwards. So I'm thinking that's a no. I don't think you'll be able to unload it on the go with the Ropa. Be interested to test out, and I will be definitely testing that out in the uh, Green Farming series. Alright, now to the moment we've all been waiting for, the big harvesters. Alright, so we got the two big beet harvesters here. And as I did with the potato harvesters, I unfolded them and put the pipes out just so we can see differences right away. So, right off the bat, this has a lower profile as far as height at, than the Ropa. De the Ropa definitely has a larger unloading conveyor, it looks like. Let me just study this, go over here and study this. Eh. Actually, they actually look about the same. The Ropa unloading is definitely further back than this one. This one's kind of centered in the tank. Pretty interesting to see. Looking at the back, pretty similar details. We got this. I really love this mesh on the side. The for ventilation and cooling. Very nice. I do like that a lot. Beautiful uh, design on it as well with the Tiger. Very beautiful design. Again, the textures are nice and crisp as you would expect in Farm Sim 17 by now. Very nice details on the head and it, actually with the Homer there is no headlights or any sort of lights on the head. Where on the Ropa there is. Obviously that may not play a big role in farming simulator, but in real life that could definitely be a game changer. So looking at this we have some cleaning wheels right there. And so do as well as on the uh, Homer. So no big differences right there. Very nice. These are two very nice machines. Um, again the comparison is only to uh, Point out that these are not just reskins of the already in-game Homer and Grimma equipment. Uh, I don't know why people even thought that in the first place, but there you go. There's your whole review and uh, comparison of the Ropa DLC. Um, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. This is a very nice uh, DLC. You get a lot for the money, and the money money is nice and low. You know. It's uh, $8 American, if you want to be technical, it's $7.99 American, uh, and yeah, it's very well worth the money. Um, I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this, especially with the, uh, what, what, what was this, the uh, Ropa, what's this called? The Ropa Keeler, I guess the, maybe that's uh, German or another language for boar, maybe? I don't know. On a side note, I really like the Ropa because it brings back memories of the Ropa pack that was out for FS13 and I absolutely love that so <laughs> definitely liking that. Definitely uh, definitely bringing back memories from that and also to see it in, uh, in the new FS17. Alright guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you did, Please like this, like, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, please click the bell icon so you're notified of when I upload and or stream. And until next time, I'm going to see you on the next video. Bye bye.